Hi everyone, it's Deb. All right, I'm here with Earrings Every Day Challenge Days 15, 16, 17, and 18. Um, I already posted on Instagram Day 15, but I will show you the inspiration and then the um, what I made. I stayed pretty true to it this time, except that... Um, I'm pretty sure that in Kimberly's inspiration, which is this, well, first of all, she used like faceted glass or crystal. Um, secondly, I'm pretty sure she made her own head pins by hammering the ends of wire. I did not do that. I used some paddle head pins I had in my stash, but I did hammer the piece in the middle and it is silver plated copper and I don't like hammering those wires flat. Uh, I hammer them with a rubber mallet to, to uh, work harden them, but um, when you hammer some of the plated wire, some of the underneath metal, like copper, silver plated copper, shows through, or silver plated brass, whatever. So, anyway, it's an organic look, and it didn't show through too badly. Um, and then here, I don't know if these were jump rings she made or just other rings, but I used some textured rings. I did make my own ear wires, and it appears she did also. So my version is here. So here's hers. Here's mine. Sorry, it's a little hard to see on the, the black, but there they are. I think I did okay with them. Um, they look about the same to me, a little different with the texture. And I use, these beads are from um, Bead Landing. They were a green um, tag or card or whatever, but I... Unfortunately, I didn't write on them when I bought them. I don't think they're in my business inventory, but maybe they're supposed to be. Um, so, uh, and they're just called like black stone matrix or matrix stone or something like that. They're a genuine stone, but I don't know what kind. So that is day 15. Day 16 inspiration is these vine earrings. And I remember making these before. They are a little tricky. Um, because you have to get the little loopies in the same spots on both earrings to make them to come out the same length and whatnot. Um, also, again, I'm pretty sure she made her own um, eye pin. Looks like it's got a double loop at the bottom to kind of match the double loops on the vine, which is cute. But I didn't do that either. I um, And also, these are really long and... I actually made it several pair of these, I think it was two years ago, and I finally just sold them l like late last year, or maybe even early this year. Um, so again, the real long earrings don't sell for me, but I did make them. And what I did is um, I had these flower-shaped head pins in my stash, and they were from a UK company. Jewelrymaker.com, and I don't know if they're still available because I bought them in like 2015 probably or 16 maybe. Um, these are little lucite flowers. I think that Kimberly used check glass ones or glass ones in any event, but I had these little tiny flowers in my stash. Um, and then I did only one link of the vines instead of two. And I did hand make the ear wire, and I think they came out kind of cute. And I like the length, and they still have dangle to them. So that's what I did. There's the inspiration, and there is mine. Okay, so that's day 16. Now day 17, I did a little different than hers. And what these are is she has them laying flat, but if you'll notice the top, these are hoops that are meant to go front to back because the wire here loops into the back uh, loop that would be behind your ear. So these actually are worn so that these are front to back. And I did do that. I made my own hoop earrings. Let me see if I can get them up here without falling. Eh, well, and what I used is some genuine garnet. All right, I'm going to have to hold them up because that's not going to work. Um, I'll just hold one up. Um, so anyway, 
here's the back. This is the little bar that goes through the back. And then this would be on the, on the side. Let's see if I can do it this way. I don't know. And what I used is little garnet rounds, real genuine garnet, and then three, I'm pretty sure they're glass pearls. I got them out of my bar bead box bargains. No, bargain bead box stash. I don't remember which month that I got them in. Because um, at this point they're all kind of mushed together. So anyway, usually when you wear these, the little garnets will be mostly on the outside and the pearls behind. And I did it so that um, on both of them, um, well, it can go either way, but if you just push them back, then the pearl should be on the inside, the garnet's on the outside, but they have movement and um, yeah, oh, I was fixing it and it wasn't broken. <laughs> they are like this. So it would look like, like that, worn sideways and same on the other side. Anyway, I hope these are showing. So that is day 16, I'm sorry, 17. Um, and I had counted, she actually had 10 bead dangles and you have to be really careful with the weight on these. So I use lightweight things. Also, she left, she made like homemade eye pins, but there's nothing dangling from the eye pins. And I personally just don't like that look. I like the bottoms of my beads to be finished somehow. So uh, I don't like the loopies at the bottom. I made a few pair of earrings with loopies at the bottom in the past and they don't sell well for me and I just personally don't like them. That look. I don't like that look. So I changed it up a little bit. Made it my own. And then lastly, which I knocked over already, um, I have these took me a little while and it's been a while since I made a pair like this, but um, let me make sure I got it on front. Yes. Um, this is the inspiration. And it is wire wrapped three beads. Now, I kind of think I know how she did it. She's got three little loops down here. So one of them is going through. The other two, it's one piece of wire. She made a loop, went up, wrapped around, wrapped around, wrapped around, and then came back down, wrapping around, and had a loop at the bottom. And then the main loop, it wraps around all of it, I think. I don't know. I don't have her e-course instructions, but I didn't do that. Um, and actually, I probably should have because that might have been a little easier. But what I did is um, I used some synthetic imitation turquoise beads. And, oh, gosh, hang on. Maybe if I go like this. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> what I did is I have a piece of wire going through the center with a loop on the bottom with this leaf bead dangle attached. And then I took a much longer piece of wire. I wrapped it around the bottom, um, just below or above really where the other wraps were for this loop. And then I did go wrap around the bead, go up, wrap around the bead, go up, wrap around the bead, and then come down the opposite direction, wrap down here and finished it off. Um, so that's how I did it because I only wanted one loop at the bottom from which to hang the leaf. And that's what, that's what they look like. So I thought they turned out pretty good. Um, I need to practice up on that some more because that's kind of difficult to get them even um, and do all those wraps and make it look right. So that's my my uh, days 14, 15, no, 15, 16, 17, and 18, which I will also count as my 100 things challenge 
um, number 16 because I did use things that have been in my stash for a while. Um, so this is earrings every day number 14 15 uh, 15 16 17 and 18 is my hashtag 100 things challenge number 16 um, so I hope you like that I will post pictures I was going to try and get to it today but I'm not going to because it is 7.30 and I haven't cooked any dinner yet and I just heard a microwave going so I don't know if my son's eating without me or what. <laughs> anyway, I have to figure something out for dinner and then I have some other projects I still have to work on. So I probably will not get pictures uploaded until hmm, either very early tomorrow morning or possibly Wednesday um, and they'll go up on Instagram. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great week. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday, so it's long day with my mother. Yeah. Anyway, um, so have an enjoyable rest of your week, and I will see you as soon as I can. Bye.